Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We are in virtual Switzerland and for the next 45 minutes ish we've got a lot to do. We have indeed, it looks beautiful here except for our trams which are looking a bit rough. So we're going to do some uh, much needed maintenance on those and spruce them up a bit. Probably replace most of the things looking at the state of them. So will they be the same trams? I don't know, there's an argument about that, isn't there? On uh, locomotives that eventually get everything replaced. I guess apart from the mainframe. I don't know, actually. Anyway, sidetracked. Good start. What are we doing today? Lots and lots. We're going to be expanding rapidly. So shall we get on with it and bring up the UI and see what we're, we're at? 4.6 million. So our train must have arrived. We're going to give um, this lake some more boats. We should make use of it in the previous series. We didn't have... I mean, we had the Mississippi running through the uh, Midwest. It was more of a train thing, wasn't it? it was the main line was the theme. Here, we're going for uh, somewhat close to reality and this area. And this lake is indeed busy with boats. Probably more so in the 1900s. So we're going to be doing that to get going. Before we do that, let's do this maintenance thing. When we've uh, expanded our ferry services, we can set them all back to normal. You'll see they're all bad. If you hover over them, it actually tells you the percentage. So you want to get all those up to 100% really. So they're operating at their maximum efficiency, which will mean less noise pollution. So we're just going to wang these up to very high. And these? Anything that goes in a city, you want to maintain the state of them or change their colour, apparently. <laughs> there we go. Uh, what else do we have running into town? We have our trucks, don't we? Let's see how they're doing. They're all bad as well. If we remove all the ticks, then we can apply it to all. Now, I just do want to say, I did forget to uh, show you this. We, we had a look in the first series, but if you never watched the first series, or well, you're not aware, if you hover over your score, it gives you a breakdown of what you get your points for. There you go. Apparently we have over 100 road vehicles now. Go us. And 20 trams. And a very long vehicle. That will be our trains, no doubt. We're up to date on that. So, where are we going to be connecting tram? Trams? Boats. <laughs> yes, you got distracted, didn't you? Maybe. Okay, oh, we're not done with maintenance. I believe this line is old as well, isn't it? Yeah, this one here. Manage vehicles. They're all bad. Let's get those maxed out. We can cover the cost of this. We are not in a position to worry about it. Our trains are just going all about their business. This one does have to wait, but I would like them not to. Looking at it, we'll have to have our uh, crossing point up near the depot, which might make sense. Currently, I would say it's an acceptable wait time. But anyway, that's not what we're doing. These can stay as they are, even though they're in very bad condition, I would imagine. Yeah, very bad. 1%. Practically zero. They don't go anywhere near a town. It would be interesting, but overly micromanagey, if it affected the performance in some way. But it, it really would be... Uh, <laughs> quite bad to micromanage they'd have to come up with a better way to do this but uh, yeah emissions 73 plus 7 which is what you get the plus 7 is because it's very bad condition but emissions as everybody knows only affects the growth of town well not, yeah it does affect the growth of town uh, it would be down here there emissions mediocre now it's getting a bit busy around here and it's probably going to get busier when we add these ferries we're going to be bringing Interlaken into, into the fold. So let's uh, modify this one first. They're going to have direct lines. We're not going to do any large ferries just yet. I think we've got room to add another landing space just there. There we go. So this is a new, a new terminal for that harbour. Over this side, I think, given how close we are, we can't do the sidewards one. So we're going to do something a little different for this one. Uh, we're going to extend this out like so. And then we'll have our landing just there. In fact, we could uh, 
prettyify it even further, couldn't we? And make it a little bit like a, a solid pier heading out. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? I like that because it kind of slots in just there. So that's the first one done. Now Interlaken doesn't have any access to the lake just yet. I'm going to go with here and we're going to have a metro service, a tram run straight through the middle because it kind of looks ideal and we'll have buses that interweave between that and uh, bring passengers either into the metro itself or they stay on straight to the harbour. Now this looks a good place for a harbour. We're going to have to pause it briefly as we're going to have to make some pretties. All right, let's get us a harbour in. Passenger harbour. We'll see that we're quite low down there compared to the uh, the shore. That's fine. We can uh, prettyify that in a little bit. We're just going... We want it to stick out as far as possible. We might be able to get a side dock. Or we could do what we did in Tomb. Did I call it Thun at the beginning? Maybe. Anyway, yes, we can do what we did at uh, Tomb. Let's get our road in to start with. If we look down, it's easier. We can hook that up just there. That'll be perfect. Make sure it is flat. There we go. We have our connection point. It shouldn't be too bad to come down from this height down there. As it is a tram, uh, I prefer that curve a little more tasteful. We'll do that. We'll take that off. Could you start to head up? Because we've got to uh, make this pretty. There we go. <laughs> Me and my pretties, eh? Ah, that's smoother. I like it. There we go. And this one will just have a curvy road going up there, which is where they'll turn around. Perfecto. Right, we'll upgrade this road in preparation for our tram service. Oh, you didn't want to close it. Let's get our uh, tram lines in and catenary all the way down through the middle of town. The absolute perfect way to do a tram. Here we go. This is our turnaround point and we're going to do something similar on this side. It's going to look great, isn't it? We're really bringing this map to life now. We're going to go with a straight road. We're intentionally building this for our trams. And there we go. There's our turnaround at that end. Where's our tram depot going? Let's put it on this corner. Why not? There we go. We'll just slot it in there. It adds scenery as well, doesn't it? Right, we're going to need some stops. Intermediate stops. Obviously, we're, we're going to have more... Probably just here. We're going to have more than uh, just the end points. We're going to run straight through town. Just here. We don't want trams stopping too often, do we? We want them to make use of their speed. And then we'll have a stop outside here. We're going to put one on the other side for a possible bus service. And we could we can change that later on if need be. We'll have another stop about here. Yeah. That will do. And we'll put another bus stop on the other side. And make use of that later for now we'll just get a tram running which we're done right that's it let's get that new line running and we're going to start there head all the way around the interlaken gets its metro lovely we're going to color this the same as the other tram service that attaches to a dock that's a nice cyan color isn't it do like it and this will be the number one we'll call this interlaken it's, I know it's not a loop, but it is uh, it is a tram. Interlaken Metro. So they can have their own numbering. There we go, because we have the th Toon Metro. Almost there. Done. <laughs> yeah, the, the TH was right there. Okay, we're in. And uh, yeah, I mean, our trucks currently go through town. However, eventually, once we get access to uh, motorways and dual carriageways, what we'll do is we'll add... A bypass here as there is in real life we have a a motorway that runs the length of this pretty much parallel to the rail line so that'll be cool right we're not done here are we we're going to configure this and have an extra dock which is going to go out i'm going to say just here and we can do something similar to what we did in tune and then have a landing point just there there we go that looks nice doesn't it we're in guys we're in we can set that up straight away. Let's do it. We're going to have a line running from here to here. Did I click on the wrong one? Why are you called Interlaken Interchange? What did I click on up here? I might have clicked on something up here. 
No, that's the hub. Oh, I clicked here. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> Got a little bit click happy. There we go. That's better. Uh, should we have this as red as well? Yeah, I might change that line color to white. It doesn't really matter, does it? We'll have it as red. I like red. And this will be the this is interlarken to tune ferry. Did I call the other one ferry or did it? Yeah, this. Come on. Be a little bit better with your uh, naming. Now we know what they are at a glance, don't we? Providing that is the right one. There we go. Yes, it is. Oh, we have to change this to not exchange. That is not very informative. Harbour. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. That's one done. And then we're going to have a short one here. Eventually, we could make these larger and accept the bigger ones, which if we go into here, we could bring this one in, which might be tempting for this long, long journey from Toon to Interlaken. All right, then. Next one. We're going from here to here. Just a little short one. Uh, yes, we could maybe change this one to uh, be a, a stopping ferry and maybe add a stop here and a stop across the water and it can zigzag its way down. But for now, we'll just go with this and see how popular they are and we can work on it as we go. Right, we're having this one red as well. And this would be Interlaken to Spitz. And I remember how to spell it. Yes, because it's down there in the list. Combat delivery. Ah, oh, fortunate. Very. We're in. We're in. We're in. All right. Couple of new ships for us. We're going to hit play so we can afford it. No, don't put the ships on first. Buy these. We're going to need some trams. Six. That should do it, shouldn't it? Half a million. And what color are these? They're like a darkish cyan, aren't they? Uh, Interlaken Metro. There we go. Now we can buy a couple of ships, which are going to cost us an arm and a leg. One there. Uh, color that red. Put that on the yeah, Interlaken. So we're going to have to look that way. For the next one, we'll color this one red too. And that would be the short one, wouldn't it? To speak. Yeah, Interlaken to speak's very. I would like to be able to disable this. Uh, if we bring up, this is something you don't see very often. If we go into the settings, you'll see in interface, notifications, vehicle lifetime, text or 3D. How about this is, this never is in miscellaneous. How about an option for never or none? Please, come on. You know you want to. I mean, I can really manage it myself. I don't need to pop up every five seconds. It's a little frustrating at times. As it's, it's not always warranted, is it? You don't have to keep your vehicles upgraded unless they're going into town or uh, maybe a line by line don't warn me perhaps there is a way and i don't know where it is that's a possibility as well right as you can see this is going to get busier and busier now do these look better already they do don't they details how are you doing 100 percent. well okay let's uh knock this back down to normal uh, we could keep it on high I'm going to make uh, as much money as possible out of them and micromanage it a little bit. Please don't keep telling me about them. Thank you. <laughs> that won't make it stop, will it? It's not going to say, all right, Grand. I'll stop because you asked nicely. All right. How about these guys? These should all be on very good. We can order it, uh, flip it both ways and make sure it says, there we go, lovely. Uh, I would imagine then that these trucks are the same. These should all be done as well. No, not quite. What you want? 83%. Close enough. No, it's not. Might as well uh, let it max out. Right, guys. Let's see how popular that is. Well, there's your answer. We have people waiting at our metro stops already in Interlaken. Isn't it just beautiful just coming down here? I love it. What's that say? Steam Express? Yes, it's happening. But it's a little spoiler. Established 1850. Not here. It wasn't. <laughs> Maybe it should have been. Isn't that the picture? From uh, one of the one of the videos they did? I think it is. That's adorable. You still got your horse and carts out here, that's fine. A little central market. I love all this. It's so beautiful. Look at that mountain range in the back. Good job on the map. 
How's our trains doing? They're just doing their job, aren't they? They're making us a small fortune. Are we keeping up? It, this will have adjusted by now. Let's just check. Uh, see what you can see. 320. Do you know, we're not far off, even with these older trains. Yeah, that's impressive. A couple of these are just like workhorses, aren't they? I mean, we can possibly stick another wagon on the back, to be fair. I mean, why not, right? Might be pushing it a bit. I don't know. I think they just fit in the stations at the moment. It would take some serious finagling of the station. Although, I don't think any of our stations lean over onto a switch. So it's entirely possible for them to be longer. This is getting super busy here. Which is great. I'm, I, I'm going to say we're going to add, since we just finished all the, all the uh, maintenance on these, we're going to add a couple more on here. There we go. We are going to redo this. I have a feeling it might be needed now. We could also, do you know, let's keep, let's keep on top of things. Is that, uh, is that the purple tram? The purple line? It is. Let's buy another one of those as well. Get that on there. I feel like we're making enough money over here. Yeah, absolute fortune. Beautiful. Right, there we go. Uh, what sort of rate are we doing? Are we meeting Steffersburg's demand? We're not. And our line rate is what? Let's go over here. Uh, it is 49. Let's add another one on here. Have we finished with the maintenance? Let's check that first. No, we haven't, but it is complete. This is perfect timing. We'll do that and we'll get one more vehicle on there. And we should be keeping up here because it's one for one. Uh, we are currently transporting 61%. It'd be nice to see that upgrade, wouldn't it? stop that <laughs> oh dear right anybody waiting oh yeah, well there's the answer to that we have people people waiting for both ferries of our new ferries we've got eight people there and we've got three people there if you do hover over them say it's a bus stop or a tram stop we can go over here for instance there's where's a few people oh you're just all getting on oh there's some left if we go here, you'll see that four are going to Grove Road. I'm getting off at Grove Road. Some are getting off at Queen Street. One's getting off at Queen Street and one off New Street. Now, talking of which, we're kind of using this as an interchange, aren't we? So I'd like to rename this, this road, <laughs> bus stop, to Harbour Exchange 1. And then Harbour Exchange... Oh, is it named them both? Lovely. Well, that way, we don't need to name them both then, do we? That'd be silly. There we go. Now we know what that is. I was hoping I could name them individually. But it doesn't look like you can. That is fine. Yeah, because these are both West Street. That makes more sense, though, doesn't it? That way, when we look at their route, um, we can see where the Harbour Exchange is. And we can also come down here as people are waiting, find out who are going to the Harbour Exchange, like most people are going to be getting off there and possibly going into the Harbour, which opens us up to having an extra bus service. We are super busy on our ferries. The little people love that, don't they? It is looking unlikely that we're going to get our trains going today. However, we're going to make up for that by expanding our income. How busy are you now? Do you know they're getting close to full, aren't they? They really are. Is that the new one? I don't think it is, no. We might have to give that a lick of paint soon as well. But look at our money. Do you know what we could do here? Let's pay off uh, while we're sat here. Well, there we go. We're under. In fact, do it. Down to three million. Now, that gives us enough money. This is getting super full. Yeah, we're, we're done here. Right. It's time to uh, juggle this around a little bit. We're going to have to rework everything. But that's fine. We're going to relocate that quickly over there because that's how that works in real life. We're going to be deleting this road. I know they're all going to be completely upset about this. And that one. And then we need to... Uh, do you know what? I might just delete this and start again. Or should I? Do you need to do that? You don't, do you? Yes, you do because it'll only let us put it on the uh, outside. If we go into here, my, uh, my idea is to have 
extra passenger station on the back here, but as you can see, it would collide with the harbour. So we're going to have to reposition this. It was mentioned in the comments that that's what we should do. We need this one to stay here, otherwise you can't put roads on the outside. So we're going to delete it, and all those people have just vanished. They haven't. They're in suspended animation somewhere. Right, we're going to get this and have it like that. We're going to have, no, you want two there and one on the other side. 30 meter is what it was, and it lines up beautifully, almost like it was intended, uh, with the harbour there, and we can just sneak that in perfectly. There we go. Now we need to configure this. Oh, the configure button's not there. There it is. Get rid of this side. Add our entrance and exit there and there. There we go. And we can redo this road. Beautiful. No, nope, you want that one. And you do want an electric. And then we'll go curvy to connect this back up. Come on, don't dance. There we go. Then we'll change it to keep and we'll put it back in here. Did you curve? You're not curving, are you? Curve, 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 curve. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> you did. You only have to do it once. Right now, let's uh, let's put our let's put our headquarters back. Close that. We might do a little bit of scenery. How about that? I know some of you guys like a bit of scenery here and there. Oh yes. You see, we got lumpy bumps here going down. You can see them all, and you can't really smooth them. It just it it won't. So there is a way to get around that if you're uh, if you prefer this not to look like that. For a, for example, me, I don't like it to look like that. It looks awful. Here's okay. You see, you can do it here just fine. Well, what I'm thinking is, is we try a little trick. Let's move you back up there because it's just pick it up and move it. It's on wheels, and we get this tool, the flattening tool, and the square. And we want the strength on, strength on maximum. You can use, instead of using this for rotation, etc., you can use comma and period, the same as raising, to change the, the rotation. You can use M and N to change the brush size. We can then drag from up there and flatten an area for our, for our HQ. And that should stop the lumpy bumps at the road, he says. Let's hope that uh, it's true. It is true, look at that, it's nice and smooth now. Let's get it central. There we go, can knock that just to there. And there you go, your lumpy bumps are pretty much gone. And then we can get our paint tool, and we'll drop that down. We do want it maximum, we can drop it down. Let's get the circle tool. I, I don't mind using the sliders if you're wondering why I don't use the shortcuts. Let's match this asphalt here, which I believe is, is it that one? Yes, it's that one. And if we hold shift, we can color all this in nicely. There we go. And we can do the same at our HQ, couldn't we? Just at the front there. So it looks like it's got a little bit of pavement. And we can do the same connecting up to the harbor, just like that. And that, to me, looks beautiful. What do you reckon, guys? Is that better? Uh, it all looks like it's one thing now. Should I, I feel like something needs to be done just here. Do you, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get... Uh, no, not that. Which one is it? It's this misc, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the fountains. But it's also got a kiosk, if I remember correctly. Uh, there it is. This is perfect. Look at that. We could spin it around, though. Or you could look... No. Let's keep it that way around. You can look at our HQ. I'm going to put it skew width or asymmetric. I'll show you why. We're going to have something different there with our fountain layout. Spoiler. Right, we want fountain one. We're going to put one here like that and we're going to put one there like that roughly roughly in a line that would be close enough and then we're going to put some benches in but we're going to have our bench layout slightly different either side one there one there there they don't have to be perfect and then here we're going to have them going around like that isn't that beautiful i like it there we go i believe there's like little trash cans you can put in as well we can have some uh some lighting as well for our people. Not there though. Don't want it in front of that. That'll do, won't it? Because we've got one on the actual kiosk itself. Beautiful. We won't bother with fencing. Now, there was trash. Trash cans. Yeah, those are cool. I like these. Uh, they would be near the kiosky thing, wouldn't they? All of a sudden, it's turned into theme park. 
of some sort. <laughs> now we need to uh, set our janitor's paths. Anybody who remembers playing theme park? There we go. Oh, plants, plant beds. But they're not as nice as I thought they would be. Fire hydrant, lamp hydrant, guard rail. What's a dish? Oh, you can put a dish on the side. That's cool. All right, leave it alone now, Grand. There we go. That's a nice little area, isn't it? Now, where's our tram going? At the back one. Uh, that is fine. That will be the busiest one. Now, I say we add another bus that runs direct just to lighten the load here rather than throw more trams on. So we're going to add some stops, intermediate ones. I know no one's actually built here, but I'm going to have a little bit of hope that they do eventually. So we're going to build it as though there are people there already that we don't have to keep changing it. We want to sort of cross over with the tram here and have a, an exchange of some sort and they can walk around the corner. Now here, we're going to go the opposite way around and we're going to have our bus run this way around, except we're going to have some intermediate stops just there and just there. A little excessive, but I like my buses to do more stops than uh, my trams. We can have one there and there. I'm going to move this one back a little bit because it's a little bit close. Now, if you delete there, you see, you can get rid of both sides at the same time. Or you can delete them individually when you zoom in. Okay, let's start this lineup. New line, we're going from here. We're going to run all the way through. What? What's going on there? Could not connect all stations. Oh, do you know what I clicked on? I clicked on Crescent instead of... That's fine, that's fixable. Instead of that one, instead of Mill Road. It's fine, we fixed it. Right, we're heading this way around, aren't we? There we go, guys. And we're going to color this one. The same as our... Uh, we're going to keep it... Well, yeah, we could keep it kind of lighter, can't we? And this would be the... Uh, oh, what would it be? Do you know what? What numbers do we have here? We have one and two, don't we, for our trams? One, yeah. So we're going to call this the th number three. And it's going to be the Toon Ferry. Uh, Toon Harbour would be make more sense, wouldn't it? There we go. Toon Harbour. Beautiful. So there's our number three, Toon Harbour. The same or similar colour. And we'll get those buses on. Look at our money as well. And that's including paying off a loan. Let's get six on there. And, oh, what have you bought? You've bought rubbish. That's what you've bought. Don't buy rubbish. Sell them. <laughs> oh, dear. Buy vehicles. Passenger. These. Yeah, I haven't been into the buses yet, have I? Nope. Get those on. Colour those. They're more of a cyan, aren't they? They're the brighter colour. And Toon Harbour. There we go. We've got new buses to hopefully lighten the load. We've got a new layout down here. Are you running right? You are. Look at that. That's exactly how I wanted it. And remember, this one is technically unused. We could possibly have it used later on. But we don't mind buses turning around in there, for instance. Perhaps we could have like a little interchange and a, and a, a little bus route running to Oberhofen. Oberhofen. Yeah, you know, that might be an idea, right? Just a little a country bus service. This is your timer to replace this stop. Once that goes, it, it forgets about it permanently. Do we have enough money to uh, please my smoothing habits? Yes, we do, because that looks awful. Okay, that's better and expensive, but it looks better. I like it. There we go. Now it doesn't look like it's bizarre. Well, we've got the same here. You're gonna get carried away again, aren't you? Yep, we're doing it apparently. Just keep doing it then. Yep, that's the rest of the episode for you. Oh, I hope I didn't ruin my front of my... No, you didn't. I love our little headquarters. It's so cute. So what's our... What's the scores on the doors now? Two points for uh, the trams now. That's beautiful. Yeah, we did add a few more trams, didn't we? Have we... Uh, have I changed these back? Well, what we could do, we can find out which ones are on high maintenance. Not there. We can find that out here. No, that's vehicle manager. It should be in there, shouldn't it? Or is it in this one? Vehicle statistics, that's the one. The one you can pull up and shuffle around. Maintenance normal. We can go here, you see, and see which ones have uh, very high. So every vehicle on this line will manage manage vehicles. I'll set all those. 
back to normal. And what's the other ones? These. We'll click on those and manage vehicles. And could you just click on the vehicle and manage vehicle? There you go. Either way, many clickings. And we'll set that back to normal. Apply. There we go. We've got none now that are. Uh, you'll see all these are very bad, but they're not going into town. This one is going into town, isn't it? Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. Get rid of that. We'll stick these on to. Just don't let me forget. There we go. There we go, guys. We'll get those uh, all beautified. Are we going to. Uh, do we have enough time to hook this up? It would be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, we could technically just add. Change this to two way and add another uh, pickup point on the other side. Oh, it changed those. Interesting. So, in order to do that, we're going to have to quickly pause it because I want to delete these sections of the road. Otherwise, it does some strange things with the uh, entry points. But we're going to configure this. We could have them both up that end, but we're going to do this way. Mix it up a little bit. There and there. And connect the road back up. Oh, it's, it's another busy episode today, isn't it? Make sure it's on curvy. It is better. Better. Right. And you can just curve round like that. In fact, should we upgrade these? I'm going to hope that they, they do something building-wise out here. Meaning I don't mind them building here as well. There we go. Now that's in preparation for a new service. An aux auxiliary service that's going to be running all the way up to here. Now we're going to have to work on this, aren't we? Yeah, we could extend this further out, though. We could have some sort of monstrosity going on. Configure this. Let's add some more cargo. Another drop-off point just here, and then another pickup point just here, which will be bigger, like so. Oh, I like that. Now, no, you're not done. Let's have an, a through point here, because this is pickup, so we want this separate. And we'll use this, this one, the drop-off, because that's all they're doing is dropping off come into here and I'll drop off like that you could add them here but it doesn't do what you want it to do it does something bizarre anyway that's in and we'll get roads here although these are one way and these are two way that's all we've got at the moment there are no one way streets until later on so that's fine we can upgrade them later this is going to be coming in like that we're going to have a little bit of an access road into here and this is going to be doing something similar over this end. Double junction thing. No accidents will ever be had there, will there? Nope. Okay, so that's that done. Looking all right. Let's go find out where they want their bread delivering to in Sion. I'm going to say here. That That's my gamble. What do you reckon, guys? Where will they want bread? Because that looks industrial to me and they look like houses. That's why I went with here. Let's see. Nailed it just okay so they, they're going there we need a building i'm gonna say just here we'll do we can i can hopefully turn around up there somewhere so we're gonna need a new line going from this production facility in near fisp down to here okay if that's what you're doing we'll have this darker for bread hmm do i like you doing that not really we could put a waypoint in though, couldn't we? And take it so it doesn't drive up uh, with the with the metro as often. I mean, we could divert around the back eventually. I think for now though, that's fine. Or could we? I would like you to head up that way though first. We can put some waypoints in. Oh, let's name it. Uh, th what would this be? Sion, what would it be? Sion food delivery. Okay, now let's add us a waypoint in here. Street waypoint i want you to go up that way please and avoid the metro service uh let's see what we can only see that's easier so after this for west please go up that way you're determined aren't you it's fine <laughs> it's fine can you just go up here that'd be cool i mean i like these they're i mean they're a bit plain but uh i, I know people have made some on the workshop you can have like little parking signs and things to use as waypoints so that's probably better or no parking or drop off here anyway what do we want we want the line don't we let's manage that after there go here beautiful that's what i wanted you to do 
Again, we could maybe just uh, drift off there at some point. But that, that takes at least this stop out of the equation. And there's only this one then. It is both ways. Ooh, it's tempting, isn't it? And it is quite flat. Do you know what? Instead of saying you might do it, let's uh, do it. <laughs> I'll tell you why. It's I, I won't forget then. And maybe the town will do something about that. Right, what are you doing now then? That's better. We can get rid of this waypoint, can't we? That's waypoint number one. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Look at that. We avoid all of the shenanigans. I am happy camper. Right, get rid of that. Thing. Don't need it. Perfect. Uh, let's uh, let's throw some trucks on there, shall we? Uh, first, we're going to buy a bunch of trucks. I'm going to say 10. 395k. We're going to color those the darker, darker orange. And we want you on the Sion food delivery. On here, we're going to have auxiliary. Let's play it now. We're going to have auxiliary grain delivery as well. Hopefully they'll use it. The factory, that is. Please use it. You're going to go from there to there. We're going to have to rework this, though. But that's fine. I don't mind that. We'll have that the same color. It's just grain, isn't it? But we could have that as a lighter, lighter grain color. And this would be Sierra... Uh, grain haulage. Ooh, haulage. I don't know what you spelt there. That's right, isn't it? Grain haulage. My brain went blank. Right. We're going to need a couple of waypoints to make these dance correctly. But you don't need them. They're, they're fine doing that, to be fair. But we're going to do it anyway. Because they're not queuing up. Well, they might do to start with. But uh, it's nothing drastic, is it? Yeah, we're overburdened here, but it's fine. I mean, we're not really technically wasting anything. All right, manage the line after CS South. You need to go there. And then we'll get to this one. Manage the line and after this West. Might change the name of that. Could you go that way around and then you make me happy? There we go. Beautiful. Right, let's uh, sort the dance out up here. You're all doing some wonderful stuff aren't you we need this one yeah that one could you go from three one is that one two is that one okay i've done that wrong haven't i yeah you want to be down here right <laughs> well, let's see we'll, we'll spread them out is that right we this is too far out isn't it, it needs to be like here instead yeah, we're going to have to rework this. It's fine. It's fine. Delete that. Delete that. You can see the uh, the segments there. We need to modify this. Configure this. Yeah, you need to be there instead. In there and out there. Get rid of those two. It's this platform that you want. There we go. No wonder it didn't work it out correctly. Because you did it wrong, Grand. Admit it. Yeah. Now we can come in there and out there. Oh, you're going to have to do that again, aren't you? It's fine. Come out like that. Smoother. That makes me happy. Connecting to the same node. Uh, that one's all right. How are you looking now? Better. Oh, yeah. We're going to need a waypoint after there. Just to tidy it up. So they don't do that little wiggle. No point in doing it. And then we'll go and check up on our, our, new, our new ferry services and metro. Sierra Grain Haulage. Is that the one? No, we want food deliveries coming down here, isn't it? Manage line. Please stop with that. After BISP, you actually want to go here first. Got it. Beautiful. You need to be on another... You need to be on... Which one is it? This one needs to be on two. That's how I wanted it to work. Uh, because these are just drop-offs. So they're not going to be hanging around. This one's going to be picking up. So this is the main one. We want this to pull out of the way. Although, saying that, you could... It doesn't matter, does it? They don't trip over each other. Yeah, and they're not waiting around. Let's see how that runs. I mean, it's something different, isn't it? And we could scenery it up a little bit. I love these. They're cool. Little grain carriers. Little buckets with grain. Oh, the detail. Right, let's go and see how our ferry is doing now. 
It's certainly busy. And we have 16 people waiting to go to Interlaken. And 52 to Toon. And how are our how are our boats doing? Are you uh you got eight people on? If you'll remember from this one, our initial ferry service, it takes a little while for them to pick up. But uh yeah, once they get cut, they're full. You're full. And you're about halfway. So let's do it, guys. We have two running this one, the busy one. Isn't that cool? They're actually full. We could go bigger. But I, I kind of like the idea of having two because I want this lake to feel alive. I mean, eventually, once we hit play on the date, we're going to get some different boats. And so we'll we'll delay the upgrading of certain boats so that we've got a, a variety of ferries running up backwards and forwards. We could also have freight, possibly. But anyway, what do you reckon, guys? Do we like that? Are we happy? I think we're in a good place now. We're all set up. We're going to make more and more money. Look at how busy it is down here. This is getting busier and busier. We may need to add more trams. We're obviously going to need to account for this small residential section. I love this. Over the other side of the water. We're probably going to power this up at some point as well. It's going to be a hell of a journey, isn't it? We've got to go all the way from there, from Riggersburg, down to Interlaken. That, ooh, that's a journey. Uh, we might, we could utilize a ferry, a cargo ferry to do that. Go into, into there, to there. Ideas, right? Mix it up a bit. And then we get a different ferry on there. Anyway, what should we take a ride on today? And all that. We, one of our ferries. I mean, we're just, we're just pulling in here, aren't we? Absolutely jam-packed, guys. This must be making us a small fortune. <laughs> it is, look at that. Uh, on a good day, it can make, or on a, in a good year, it can make us over close to half a million, I'd say. <laughs> look at everybody on there. Goodness me, it's jam-packed. Is it jam-packed? Almost, just 10 short. I mean, having two might have been a bit of a, a knee-jerk reaction, but we can see, can't we, as it, uh, as it goes. Right, yeah, let's have a little bit of ferry action. Because we've had trains and trams, it's, it's going to be back on, the, uh, back on the ferry here. Let's get us a place to sit, shall we, down here. All right, guys, that has been episode eight. A lot done. I definitely feel like we're earning enough now to uh, to start our first our first passenger train service. I know I kind of promised it today, uh, but got carried away as usual. And instead, what we ended up with is a million more ferries. Okay, four, no three, three more ferries, two more lines. Oh, is it? <laughs> I don't even know now. Yeah, three more actual ferries, and uh, we've got a new food delivery that we're going to have to check on at the beginning. However, once we've checked on that and monitored the situation with our metros, uh, we're going to we're going to head off and start building a couple of stations, one at Zweisimmen and one at Spitz. And then we'll get it, we'll buy it. We'll buy our first passenger train. Can I promise that? Yes, even if it means taking out a load. That's what we're doing. So until then, Take care.